Okay, this is a YouTube demonstration. Storm Lab versus GR Level 3 Radar. I'm taking a look now on Storm Lab at a significant weather advisory in Oklahoma. This is near the Woodward area. Uh, I like the some of the options of the Storm Lab uh, better than GR Level Earth, but the lack of smoothing and the need for a provider of Level 2 data uh, are some of its biggest drawbacks. Well, let's take a look at what you can do. You got nice, easy zooming in. Again, it's pretty much the same as on uh, GR Level 3 and all the other products. Uh, you have nice representation of your towns and you can pretty much customize any and all of these towns that appear. Uh, oops. I have mostly left them at their default settings. Um, you can measure distances if I wanted to, let's see. If I want to do a distance between Moreland and Winoka. That's going to be about 20 miles at 64 degrees. Um, you may notice the data is blinking. Well, that's something we can do. Let's, uh, let me blink on some data here. Some Just blink on the Select colors. This is great for showing um, where the most severe weather is going to be. I blink up the upper ranges of the reflectivity, and you see them blinking on and off. And this is obviously where the worst of the weather is occurring. It also gives you the a more of a speech bubble, more of an integrated uh, approach to displaying the warning information, or in this case the advisory. You've got your overlays of your Metar display built in. That's extremely nice. GR level Earth, uh, I mean GR uh, level 3 does not have that feature. So let's zoom out, and let's do an, a path cast. Okay. And let's take a look. Oops. We're talking about uh, Winoka at 11.16 p.m., Averd at 11.28, Hope Town at 11:36, at 11:42, 11:42 at Tacoma, and I love that the the tracking is bit. Oops, I'm just messing up all over the place here. You actually have to draw a path and then keep it like that. So this is the, this is the feature I like the most, honestly. It's it's a great thing to have built in. However, the GR products have add-ons. Another thing I want to do is I'm going to unselect or filter these selected colors. Filter a little bit more. Just clears up a lot of the unnecessary precipitation uh, that appears on the radar, ground clutter. Um, it's an option you don't have, 
on uh, GR level 2, but if you use the proper .pal color file, then it takes care of itself. Okay, let's take a look at the same system on GR level 2. Now the pathcast, it's not self-updating, but as you can see, it's also a rather nice uh, display. I like that I can keep the pathcast up. You can see Moreland is in the uh, area, has our the s Highway 50, I guess. Highway 14, State Route 14, and the other one, Noka and it shows it tracking off to the Avard area. And I can bring up the estimated time of arrival. <laughs> it's only pegging one city at the moment. Which is funny. Because it was... It had more earlier. Of course, it decides to do something funky, and now it's got no, no cities. Let's, uh, well, let's try redrawing that. This is an add-on called um, Gibson Ridge Manual Storm Tracks. Clear that, and your track disappears. I'll just follow the skit information. I need to zoom out. Oh, I need to clear that. I screwed it up. Place my second marker. There's my storm track. Going across Woodward, Woods, and Alfalfa counties along uh, State Route 64, 28, 14. Got a general T storm risk. We've got a cold front. Uh, just behind the front, the storms are popping up. Click View ETA. Uh, here we go. Belva at 11.14, Winoka 11.24, Avard 11.37, Hopeton 11.45, Tacoma 11.51. Let's compare that with Storm Lab. Uh, it did not get... It's funny, they both have, you know, different... different cities, and it may be with the editing. I like this professional Pathcaster a bit better. Uh, it reminds me of the Baron's products. Uh, so that's part one of the review. Just looking at what these two things can do, you'll notice uh, Stormlab is more barren. Uh, it's more sparse. There's no smoothing option, but it's um, it has nice features. And GR Level Earth is a bit more user friendly. Uh, level three is a bit more user friendly. You got your different tilts that you can access right in the radar window. And your skit cell information, hail, uh, quarter inch, uh, 
probability of hail 50%, severe hail 0%, and your storm cell ID. I'm gonna do another video later. Tomorrow may be a better day for severe weather. I've got plenty of time tomorrow. And this one gives you little dots of where the storm's gonna hit. Um, that's cool. Uh, where is that?